Well, hello there. Hey guys. Happy Sunday to you. Yes. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I should have said a blobbing episode. <laughs> In this episode, I am going to show you just how I made this wonderful blob piece. Um, if you are new to the blobbing technique, it's basically the technique of taking color at a certain consistency and then blobbing them on top of each other to create these kind of 3D wonderful designs. Yes. So that's what I'm going to show you how I made in this episode. But before we get to that, a lot of people have been asking what the actual recipe is. Yes. Now I've given it in every single episode, but I want to take a little minute here to kind of be a bit more descriptive about it. Okay. So let me first off show you two of the three ingredients that you're going to need. So this is the first ingredient. Yes. This is Mod Podge. This is water-based glue, sealer and finish. And this is the gloss version. Now you don't have to buy it in such huge quantities. They actually do come in lots of different sizes. Yes. But because I use a lot of it, I get it in the big bottles and then it's a little bit more economical. Now I will put a link to this product on Amazon in our description box so that you can see it. So that's the first product you're gonna need. The second is, ha ha. Now this is Liquitex Basics and this is their gloss varnish. Not to be confused with the gloss medium. This is the varnish that you can use to actually seal pieces. Yes. And uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic product. It's very watery. It, and it's, it's very much, very, very much thinner than the gloss medium. So it's a very different product. The third thing that you need is the acrylic paint. Yes. Now for every single one of my blobs, I've been using Liquitex Basics paints. And this recipe is for Liquitex Basics or anything else that's the same equivalent level. Yes. So you can try this with Amsterdam paints and you can try it with other paints, but this is specifically for Liquitex Basics. And that recipe is 50% of this bad boy, 25% of this bad boy, and then 25% of your paint. And that will give you a consistency that is basically the right consistency to be able to blob with. Yes. What you're looking for is something that you can squeeze out of the bottle and it will mound without creating a little bump on the top of it. And it's that consistency that once it dries overnight and it's just 24 hours later, you'll then be able to blob on top of each other and it will dry beautiful and shiny and super glossy. Um, also, you can still use your torch to pop the bubbles, right? You have to use your torch. Okay. You have to use your torch to pull the, pop the bubbles. Now, what I do, and you'll see these bad boys standing in the background, I think, is I actually put my bottles upside down. I, I cut a top out of a plastic cup, and then I invert my bottle so that any of the bubbles rise up to the top. But as you're squeezing the paint out of the bottles, you yeah. will get bubbles. Yes. And then, yes, you absolutely must torch them because, because it's a glue mixture. If you don't torch them, those... Right? <laughs> I meant to do like this. <laughs> because it's a glue mixture, the bubbles won't actually just pop on their own because yeah. it's thick, you know? So you absolutely do have to take a torch and I'll certainly, you'll certainly see me torching these in the episode as we go through mm. it. And you can use any manner of colors. I mean, it's such a fun, fun process. I've really enjoyed using the wooden panels yeah. because they are firm and solid, but you can absolutely do this on canvases. You might have seen the commission that I did for Kathleen Osmore not that long ago. Yeah. That was on a canvas. I just backed it with resin first to make it nice and hard. So as long as your surface is flat and level, you can pretty much blob on anything. Nice. And I am obsessed. <laughs> and, obsessed. and I actually am, well, we are, doing a course about mm -hmm. blobs at the Fluid Art Experience. We are. Now, how can you do that, you might be asking yourself? Well, you can come and take the class and, and learn how to do it for yourself. You absolutely can. And how you'll get to do it is by spreading that three hour class one hour over three days. Yes. So uh, within 24 hours, the previous blob will have dried and then you'll be able to blob on it again. I'm gonna have all the paints pre-mixed for you. Yes. I'll have all your substrates already painted. So if you wanna come and create a blob painting that'll be something similar to this with three layers on it, 
and come and play with us at the Fluid Art Experience, November the 17th to the 19th. All right, enough waffle, show enough pony. Waffle. Let's enough waffle, let's get to it. Let's, let's get to it. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of funky music over this one and I will speed a lot of it up because the process is kind of laborious, but hopefully you'll be able to sit back with a little bit of ASMR in this one and, uh, and just see exactly how we do it. And I'll exactly. be back at the very end to talk to you a little bit more. from a party We're all on a roll tonight We men be sparky All the men be dancing right Moving my body Clubbing feels so sweet We turn and turn and turn again 
So there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I have said in the past that I'm not sure whether these blobs are really fit for YouTube because it is just a lot of, you know, watching and listening to funky music. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy them because I really, really love making them. And speaking of, these were some of the sister pieces to Kathleen's yeah. commission that I did. I knocked these up for her just as like little pieces to be able to put on the wall alongside that really funky piece for her. And these are the lovely kind of, you know, brown tones. So these are two little small 12 by 12s. Yes. And what are you holding, Show Pony? I am holding the state of Texas. Yes, you are. This is our Blob Where You Live series. Yes. So you can actually pick the state and you can pick the background color and then three additional colors I will blob on that thing for you and where your home city is if you can see right here represented for Dallas it's a black and white blob so they'll be black and white for where whichever city you're in and then the rest of it will be the colors that you choose that is available on the Massey Art Studios website at www.masseyartstudios.com and these are custom so you pick everything on there and I'll blob on it for you yeah yeah yes. well, a lot of fun all right, well, happy Sunday. There will be a train. Next up, it will be Gina. Gina. Then it will be Mina. Mina. And then it will be Brian. So Brian. please go and, and stand by and watch for all those guys. Thank you, Parrot. <laughs> show, show Parrot, I should call him. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Uh, someone called us out for saying that we were the OGs of the post-COVID fluid art experiences. Right. Um, I will uphold what I said. Post-COVID, we absolutely were the first yeah. experience to offer the opportunity to go and be with your fluid art mentors. But apparently Pam Schmidt was the first person to do one of these back in 2019. So congratulations to Pam and anyone that went and got to see her. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. We weren't around then. No. Um, so it wasn't something that we ever saw. However, we will completely uphold the fact that after 450 students, a thousand classes, uh, 15 unique different fluid artist artists, um, that uh, we were the first post-COVID fluid art experience, which is what we said in our episode. Just wanted to clarify. All right, guys. Thank you for allowing me the chance to once again get off my soapbox. And uh, we'll see you back here for another episode on Tuesday. Have a good day, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And uh, who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It says a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, We've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes. As most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys. 